Hey guys, Mike here from Fortinet Guru, and tonight we're going to be talking about the automatic upgrade feature brought on in 7.4. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we've all been there. You have too many Ford gates to keep up with. Too much going on between Patch Tuesday with Microsoft, patching all your Forta gates, your Forta switches, and all that stuff. It's kind of hard to keep up. Well, now Fortinet is trying to solve all those problems. With the main one being the fact that Forta gates can now automatically update themselves. Now this isn't, oh, I'm going to jump to the latest version or anything like that. It does follow the upgrade path, thank God. In fact, I know a lot of humans that don't do that, and that causes a lot of problems for them. But basically, in 40 OS 7.4.1, they gave you the ability to have automatic updates that are schedulable. You can actually define when they take place. And I actually have it pulled up on my Forti gate so I can kind of show you the ropes. So if you look right here, this is under Configure System FortiGuard. Config Sys FortiGuard. You have... Where'd they go? These little buddies right here. Why is this important? You're able to one, turn on automatic firmware updating, which, you know, I probably wouldn't do this on a firewall that if it goes down overnight, you're in big trouble. Like if you're running a 24 seven operation, you probably want to stay away from this, but you have the ability to one, enable the option two, set the upgrade day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the actual upgrade delay, so you can delay how fast it takes place. And then, of course, the start hour of the whole thing. So if you want it to happen at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. of said start day, that's how you set that. And then, of course, the automatic firmware end hour. It means it needs to take place before then. Otherwise, it's going to freeze things up. So why is this beneficial? One, we all run Fortinet hardware. And we've all run into a situation where we have devices that may have gotten behind on the firmware path. We just didn't update them like we should have. We're, we're bad engineers. We didn't do our jobs. This helps alleviate that problem. Um, obviously, like I said, you want to keep that on devices that are going to be more lower rung. But it really pays dividends for you because you're in a situation now where all these crazy zero days or vulnerabilities or CVEs that are coming out, you're not wasting all of your time running through the pecking order to make sure you get all of your devices updated across the fleet. If they're lower level branches, you let them do themselves on Sunday night before Monday morning. Um, I mean, that kind of seems like a win. Obviously, if you're a big data center, don't do it. But for lower end branches, I'm having a hard time understanding why you wouldn't these days. So, anyways, automatic firmware updates. Fortinet's listening on some of the feature requests that we're actually putting in, and it's putting us in a pretty good position to actually be a little bit more efficient as engineers, right? There's a bunch more, whole bunch more new features that are in 741 that I'm actually pretty stoked about. We're going to make videos talking about those over time. But for now, automatic firmware updates, guys. Kick it off for your branch units if you can. Um, I know for a fact it works on 100 series or higher. Uh, they might wait for the new entry level units until they're uh, a couple more patches up. So anyways, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Comment below with what you wanna see more videos on. I did a community post recently. I made a list and we're gonna start running through those and making sure everything's okay. I wanna make sure I provide content that you guys desire. And I want to help you on your Fortinet journey. Now, there was one guy that wanted to talk about updating FortiGates. Hopefully, this helps automate it for you. But we will have some standalone videos for that specifically. So until next time, guys, stay safe. I love you. I'll see you next time.